Ba, 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 ba. I think I got the melody down to this record at number uh <clears throat> number nine number ten. WJRD's top eleven plus fifty survey, October thirty first, nineteen sixty six. It is the I got something stuck on the side of my mouth there. I had my midnight snack a few minutes ago. A little toasted jam, a little strawberries with uh uh chocolate uh, syrup poured on top of it, sugar free really good. That <laughs> puts me in a good mood. Doing, doing the top 50 survey, counting it down, WJRD putting me in a good mood too. And Otis Redding with fa 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 or oh, I forgot how to do it now. But anyway, Otis Redding, uh, one of his hit records at number 10 on WJRD survey is from the album uh, Complete and Unbelievable, uh, the Otis Redding Dictionary of Soul. It was put out by Stax Records. Otis Redding put out about two albums in 1966. Uh, the big, the real big hit off this album was Try a Little Tenderness, a song that goes back to 1932, first recorded back in the 30s, and Otis Redding had a big hit with it. Uh, late 66, going into early 66, maybe into the spring of 67, somewhere in that era. Otis Redding was among the first soul artists to perform on the West Coast. He played the Whiskey A Go-Go in Los Angeles, the legendary Whiskey A Go-Go. Everybody <clears throat> played there, the Doors, you name it. Lots of folks played there. He played in front of a predominantly white audience and got Ray Refuse. The soul man was hitting it big on the West Coast. Hitting it big in Hollywood. Legend has it that Bob Dylan was so impressed with Otis, he offered him Just Like a Woman. Bob Dylan, the song that he wrote, or at least an alternate version of Just Like a Woman. But Otis Redding turned it down. Bob Dylan wound up recording the song, and, and Manfred Mann had a huge hit with it in England. Minor hit with that song over here in the States in the summer of 66, but that's another story right there. He went back to the studios and stacks, and this album of his, the Otis Ready Dictionary, I so I love that. It sounds so distinguished. It's like opening, <laughs> opening a dictionary. You got all that sweet soul music. Give me that sweet soul music. Arthur Connolly had it down. But here's the thing about this uh, album. It was produced by Jim Stewart, uh, David Porter, Isaac Hayes, David Porter and Isaac Hayes, who produced all those hit records by Sam and Dave, and also for T and the MGs. Uh, who provide, provided the background instrumentation. Steve Cropper and Otis Redding, they wrote this record. And uh, David Porter, that fa, 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 or fa, 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 he did the background vocals on that, along with Otis Redding, singing along with Otis Redding on that record, David Porter. Well, at number 10, it's Otis on WJRD's Top 11 Plus 50 Survey. 1150 WJRD in Tuscaloosa, Alabama.